So let's have a look on the Mantel's experiment. So he did the monohybrid cross first to observe or patterns of the inherited characters or traits. So monohybrid cross involves only one pair of contrasting characters. One pair of contrasting characters only. It means we are just considering any one. For example, if I talk about the shape of the seed. So, I am talking about only the shape of the seed. I am not saying that shape as well as height. So, in monohybrid cross, only one pair of contrasting characters are considered at a time. So, if I talk about the shape of the seed, so it could be round or wrinkled. So, this can be taken in the monohybrid cross. So, let's see what Mendel had selected. So, so, Mendel took one pair of contrasting characters and that contrasting character is of the height. Height could be tall or dwarf or short. So, he took homozygous tall variety of the plant. Another parent is taken as the short or the dwarf variety of the plant. So, gametes are segregated before fusion. So, from these two T or two alleles, one T is segregated or separated. From these two T's, this is the small t which is recessive and dominant characters are denoted by capital letters. So, this T combines with this T, then a cross is made here. He saw that TT, that is the tall varieties are produced. So, in the F1 generation or the very first cross, all the progeny was tall. Then, he self-pollinated the first generation, that is he made a cross between TT, that is this F1, self-pollination. Self-pollination, it means this gamete. So, he observed in F1 generation that all the progeny were tall. Then, he made a self-cross of the F1 generation. Then, he saw that TT and TT as another parent. Then, a mating or cross was made. Then both of these were segregated and again a cross was made between these. So in F2 generation, he saw that not all varieties or not all progeny were tall, but some of them were small also. So TT, it means this is the tall variety. This is again the tall variety because we have just discussed that in the capital letter, we consider the capital letter as a dominant character. So, TT, this is also tall, but T small, T small, it means the variety or the progeny is dwarf or short. So, we have seen in the monohybrid cross. Mandel concluded in the monohybrid cross that during F1 generation, all the progeny were tall. But when he made a cross or self-pollination was done among the F1 generation, then in F2 generation, not all progeny were tall. Some of them were short also. So, let's come to the conclusion. Mendel's law of dominance provides an explanation for the observed patterns of inheritance and presence of dominant and recessive traits in the offspring. So, based on the observation of this cross or monohybrid cross, he concluded a law of dominance. For example, if there is a trait or character that is height, 
then there are two alleles that code for this height that is T and T. This capital T denotes the dominant character that is tall and this small letter denotes the recessive allele that is dwarf or the short variety or the character or trait. So according to the law of dominance there are two alleles one is dominant and another one is the recessive allele. So the dominant allele that is for example tall it is dominant it means that this is capable to express in the generation and if the generation does not express the recessive gene it means this short t is the recessive one because it is not expressed in the generation anywhere. So for example here if we talk about this particular type of character for example tall that is tt from this we can conclude that this is the tall variety because here t comes first that is capital T is there which denotes the dominant allele. So it means all the progeny were tall but in F2 generation we have seen some recessive character also as small t small t were there. So it means the recessive allele or recessive character was there that is short. So short height is the recessive character but the tall height is the dominant character. So therefore we can say that each trait is determined by a pair of alleles. Here again the pair of alleles means if we talk about the height then alleles could be for tall or for dwarf that is t and this is small t. And this is generally the dominant and this is the recessive one. So one inherited from each parent. The dominant allele is denoted by the capital letter while the recessive allele is represented by a lowercase letter. For example, small t and capital 